All right, so our behavior pack is installed in Minecraft, and now we need to create a world to test it out. So let's click on play, and then we'll create a new world. And I'll generate a random world. We'll call it pack, pack test. And one of the things we can do is turn cheats on. Could survival modes fine. Since we have cheats, we can change that. And then on the left-hand side, we'll scroll down to behavior packs, click on that, and you can see there's our behavior pack. So it's got the default icon. It's got the clever like test name, which has been truncated because it was test behavior. And then it says test behavior pack created by clever like. So I click on that once. And then you can see here, if you have a problem with your behavior pack, it's going to pop up this icon. So let's click on that. And in here, remember there was three UUIDs and the third one was a dependency for a resource pack. It's basically saying, hey, I don't have that resource pack. And that's fine because we didn't provide a resource pack. And that's okay. So that's not going to cause any problems. So what are the things we have to do since it's in the available behavior packs category? We need to put it into the active behavior packs by clicking plus. And... Once we click plus, it's now an active behavior pack, and it looks like we are ready to try it out. So let's click play and see what happens. Great, so now we're in the world with our behavior pack. And do you remember what we had in our behavior pack? We had a plan for spiders. So let's give ourselves something. So well, let's give ourselves a diamond sword. So I'll do slash give. And I'll start to type my player name, and then I'll hit tab. It'll auto-complete it. And then I'll say diamond underscore sword. Enter. And there I've got a diamond sword. So let's go ahead and summon a spider and see what happens. So I do slash summon spider. And that'll summon a spider. And then he's going to start attacking us. There he is. Hello. And look at that. Look at that loot. Wow, what did we say? We said one bow. And how many arrows? 16, right? There's our 16 arrows. Cool. So our custom loot table worked. And now, what was the other thing we did? We had, let's see, I'm going to change the game mode to creative. So I'm going to say game mode one. So now I can fly. Let's look around this town here. This is perfect. We have a nice little cliff over here. I hope you're lucky enough to have a cliff in your world. So one of the things we can do here is just go ahead and summon a chicken. Hit enter. There's a chicken. Hello, sir. We're riding him. We're on him. There he is, baby. So right now, we don't have our bow, so he's not going to follow... Now he's just kind of like a he's like an attack pony, uh, but now once if we give the um, if we put the bow in our hand, he's going to follow that. So I'm gonna just switch to that, and there he goes. And now we're off, we're off. He's yep, yep. He's doing where he's going wherever we point. There we go, baby. Woohoo! Flying our chicken. And shooting our bows along the way. Okay. Sorry, chicken. I totally landed on you in cannonball style. Awesome. So that's our custom behavior. You see how much fun that is? You could really... We borrowed a behavior from the pig entity. We put it over into the chicken so we can ride chickens and fly with them. And we made spiders give us more than just string. We Now we have bows and arrows from spiders. So all kinds of awesome stuff that you can do using Minecraft add-ons. I hope you had fun creating this behavior pack, and I hope it inspired you to create some new things. So go ahead and explore and come up with your own ideas and create something really cool. Have fun.